Hello, possums. Drama Smith here, and I'm still dreaming in our little village. Today I'm going to rebuild the two houses you see behind me. The larger one down the slope, and the small one at the top of the slope. I'm going to rebuild them as one house, and I'm going to show you how you don't have to build on the flat. We might just have a quick spin through the village, because I'll show you exactly what the village consists of. So there's these two houses that we're going to get rid of and build today. There is a butcher's shop. That's the one that has the little pen out the back. There's two little houses and a little watchtower over there. Another one of those large houses. And a well. And, whoops, a third one of those large houses. So, as I said before, not a very large village. But we can do better than that. All right, so I'm going to demolish these. And then I'll come back to you and we'll start building. Okay, they're all gone. Looks a bit different, doesn't it? Now I start by putting in foundations. Like the gatehouse, it's going to have foundations of stone and then a partial lower level of stone. This isn't going to be a block by block. I'm just going to build and talk about principles. When I first started building in Minecraft, which, bear in mind, was only six months ago, I've only been at this game for six months. I love it. Um, when I was building, everything had to be flat. Not being flat sort of freaked me out. I've got to start somewhere. Start here. Not being flat freaked me out. And you find these villages where buildings are on all different levels and I would be madly terraforming or madly, you know, madly terraforming, either raising levels up or bringing levels down. And then you get those crazy houses that um, are seven or eight blocks high in terms of their foundations and still below the level of the next house up. But um, after a while, I just thought this is crazy. So I started with building other floors underneath if the houses were particularly high. or bringing things down to other levels. And eventually I just thought, well, why am I even doing that? I mean, if we're going to look at the local vernacular, it's okay, but every single village the same? At which point I started just doing my own thing. Now, how do I work out what to do? Part of it is by looking at houses in real life. I live in a very hilly area. It looks good. Happy with that. I live in a very hilly area, so there are a lot of houses around that are two stories at the back, one story at the front, split level, you know, all sorts of things like that. Mm. Am I happy with this? We might bring it out here. Yeah, you know what split level homes are. They're the ones that are offset by, say, half a floor or something. But all these are solutions that you can employ in your builds. Just get rid of that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, next is upside down stairs. And I'm building in spruce this time just for a bit of a colour difference. I'm going to take this all the way around my foundations. So I'll be back when I've done that. 
All right, so that's our upside down stairs all the way around, including in the dirt. Not sure about this bit, I'll think about it. Now, this is our bottom floor, and this will be our top floor. I can either dig out this entire thing and have a large room underneath, or I can dig out part of it. Not sure what to do. What I do have to do, though, is dig out this, because this is where the floor's going. Again, my floors are going to be of oak, top and bottom floor. And the ceilings will be of birch. And the roof will be dark oak. Entire floor filled in with oak is the next bit. So once you've got your shape, once you've got your different levels, it's just build as you would a normal house. So it's quite simple really. Use the structure to level your building platform. I'll get this done and I'll be back. Alright, so that's the floor laid in. And if we come down round here, I did dig out this room a little. I lined it all with stone and then put in an oak slab floor. And where there was oak along the top of the walls, I replaced it with oak logs. So that's the downstairs. We might put a door in. One door. And night's coming on. So we'll get started with the next floor in the morning. This works the same way as the gatehouse. I'm going to build up my wall starting with one block high, work out where my doors are, then build up the corners and work out the windows. I want a little veranda on the front, so I'll start with that. It's only a little veranda. That'll do. A door here, I think. That's where our door is. So now we build up two blocks and we build door frames. Two blocks at the corner. Two blocks at the corner. There we go. Now I want some rooms in here. I'll build their walls out of oak. We'll have a little foyer. Yep. And then I'll divide this into two. There we go. I'll make the stairs down here. Ow. Oh, so stairs one, two. Goodbye torch, three, four. And I'll put upside down stairs underneath. There we go. And don't forget to pop the torch back. Yep, that'll do. That's quite nice. Okay, now we build up the walls. And then we can plan out the windows. Okay, time to work out the windows. And again, I don't want windows in corners. That, I think, is going to be looking at a neighbour's wall. I won't put glass in that until I'm well and truly sure, which may mean until I've well and truly built something here. Okay, now we're going to do the roof. And the roof will be in dark oak. Alright, same as that roof. I put one block on. I put one slab on and I may end up having to put blocks all the way around. But we'll deal with that. And then I put one slab at that half level all the way around. 
Yeah, that house is going to have to move. Okay. The next one goes one block lower. One half block lower. And again, all the way around. See, that house has to move. Slabs at two levels all the way round. Now I am going to build this up with blocks because I'm not making the same mistake that I made with the gatehouse. Right, next part of the roof. Stairs. Always stairs, isn't it? I'll go all the way round. And we'll see where it takes us. And next level of the roof, same again. Stairs all the way around. This odd little bit here. Don't have much choice but to do that. And it looks like we've made a big square space. Wasn't what I planned. I'll make the most of it. Oh, this roof's turning out really high. Let's have a look. Oh, not as bad as I thought. We can live with that. Well, actually, I don't have to live with that. The villagers do. But... Given that's what they're coming from, I don't think they'll mind. That yeah, was a big square. Oh, let's see. It's not great, but it'll do. All right, let's light this up. Quick, quick before the night comes. Never forget to light your roofs. It's horrible to come out of a door and have a creeper or a spider or something like that drop down on your head. Not much fun at all. Nope, I'm changing it. I'm also lighting it. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look. Yep, that's better. Now the veranda. I just bring slabs out one layer further down to the extent of the veranda. Not happy with that. A little bit of remodeling. Don't forget to fix your foundations. There we go. Yep, I'm happy. Well, that's not right. And now, oak railings. 
And I think we'll put the railings around. There we go, nice little porch. Put one more there. How does that look? I'm wondering if I should extend that around there. Oh, we'll think about it. Doors and glass. All the windows in, except for the window in the bedroom. Because I'm leaving that until I know what I'm doing with the house next door. That window gets left alone. This one gets glass put in it. And we might come down here and knock in a couple of little windows. How do we feel about that? Yeah, I think that's all right. And we might put... No, that's stairs. We won't do that. We might put one there. Okay, that'll do us. Oh, yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Time to put in the ceiling, and we're going to be making the ceiling out of birch. Now, I don't have to worry about lighting the inside of the roof because these are half slabs on the lower half of the block, which means nothing can spawn. We have got a lot of roof space, though, so in theory we could put another little room up there with some stairs or a ladder, maybe make it some storage or an extra bedroom. Lots of choices. Last but not least, doors. External door of oak. Oh, I meant to offset that from inside. There we go. External door of oak and internal doors of dark oak. Well, that's it. That's the house done. Just got to light up the outside. I'll do some more building in the rest of the village. And in the next episode, I'll show you how it's gone. And we'll take it from there. All right, well, that's it. It's getting dark. I'd better go. Hit the like if you enjoyed this. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you do. And I'll see you next time. Bye.